Ladies and gentlemen, horror fans, and cinephiles, we have a spine-chilling tale to discuss today. Rob Savage's Boogeyman is not just a movie. It's a cinematic masterpiece that will make you reconsider your very understanding of fear. If you thought you were safe from boredom, think again, because Boogeyman is here to shake you to your core. Rob Savage, known for his work on Host, has once again proven his mastery in horror. Based on a lesser-known Stephen King short story with a generic title that's been used repeatedly, The Boogeyman conveniently slots into current horror trends. It follows a female-led narrative centered on themes of grief and trauma, placing it alongside films like 2021's Antlers and last year's Men, drawing even closer parallels to the equally somber and metaphor-laden Smile. Originally slated for a streaming release, it ultimately made its way to the big screen due to successful test screenings, a decision that aligns with both commercial and aesthetic considerations, as the film captures the authentic essence of cinematic horror. Boogeyman takes the classic things that go bump in the night theme and elevates it to new heights. This film taps into the very essence of childhood fear and exploits it expertly. As a viewer, you'll find yourself transported to your most vulnerable moments as a child, when you were convinced there was something lurking in the shadows. The brilliance of Boogeyman lies in its simplicity. Unlike many modern horror films, it doesn't rely on jump scares and excessive gore. Instead, it harnesses the power of the unknown, leaving your imagination to fill in the horrifying blanks. The fear of what you can't see is far more potent than what you can, and Boogeyman plays with this fear masterfully. Rob Savage creates a palpable atmosphere of dread that lingers from the very beginning to the final credits. The cinematography is claustrophobic, and the sound design is hauntingly effective. Every creak, whisper, and heartbeat resonates with the audience, enhancing the feeling of being trapped in a nightmare. The cast deserves a special mention, they deliver performances that feel genuine and relatable. As the terror unfolds, you'll find yourself genuinely caring about the characters, rooting for their survival and sharing in their overwhelming fear. And that's where Rob Savage truly excels. Boogeyman taps into something primal, reminding us of the fears we've carried with us from childhood. It plays on that universal feeling of vulnerability, making it a deeply personal and relatable experience for every viewer. In an era when horror movies often rely on excessive gore and cheap jump scares, Boogeyman stands out as a refreshing reminder that true horror is born from the unknown. It's a masterpiece that elevates the genre, and Rob Savage deserves an honor for his artistry. Apart from Rob Savage's evident visual flair, The Boogeyman offers little else. Its attempt to use the central villain as a metaphor for emotional trauma falls short, failing to match the effectiveness achieved in last year's Smile, the concept of horror as therapy feeling somewhat overused. Nevertheless, the film serves as a testament to Savage's skill as a genre filmmaker, smoothly transitioning from the confines of a laptop to the grandeur of the big screen, hinting at even more promising endeavors in the future. In conclusion, Boogeyman is a captivating journey into the depths of our darkest fears. Rob Savage has crafted a horror masterpiece that transcends the boundaries of the genre, reminding us of the power of subtlety, atmosphere, and genuine terror. If you're in the mood for a film that will leave you questioning what lurks in the shadows, Boogeyman is an absolute must-watch. But be warned, you may find it difficult to sleep with the lights off for quite some time after witnessing this terrifying masterpiece. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed our deep dive into The Boogeyman. If you agreed with our take or think we missed something, please let us know in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on our future movie reviews and discussions.